Welcome to LSTO Tutorials. Together we will discover how to create services directly on your own AWS account while being managed by LSTO and having access to all the features that we provide. Why doing so? To have access to all LSTO tools such as live metrics, logs, visual studio code, easy installation of open source services including updates and maintenance, automated backups, scaling easily your project with a load balancer and a clustered infrastructure, while keeping the ownership of your instances on your own AWS account. Let's deploy an open source software from LSTO into an EC2 instance of seed on our AWS account. Let's go to ls.io, hit login or create your account if you don't have one yet. Let's hit deploy my first service if you don't have yet or create a new service if you already have one. Then let's try with Superbase. And here we can select the service cloud provider we want. And the one we want is AWS. When using AWS, we will deploy on your own AWS account. So what you will need to do is to create an access and a secret key. Don't worry, we will create them together. Go to aws.amazon.com and log into the console. Then use your own account. And the service to manage your account is named IAM, Identity Access Management. So let's go to it. Here you don't have to worry about the region, it's global. So let's go to users and we will create a new user. We will name it LSTO access and we don't want it to have access to uh, the console. So hit next. We can do different things. So either create a group of permission, but what we want is to attach policies directly. And we need to search for EC2. and select Amazon EC2 full access. So with those key, LSTO will be able to perform the operation for you. Hit next and create user. So now the user is created, but we need to generate keys. So go to the user, go to security credential tab and create access key. Here you can just select the first one, command line interface check the I understand the above recommendation and hit next. You can add a description, but it's for you. So do whatever you want with it and create access key. Let's copy our access key and copy the secret key. Oh, and be careful because now uh, you won't be able to get the secret key again. So you can download a CSV file or you can just forget it and create a new one if you need another one, but be very careful of not sharing it in a public like on your repositories. Okay, hit down. Okay, and verify config. Now LSTO detected that it works, so we can go further. We can here select the region we want for deploying our instance, European Central One in Germany. And here we can select the instance that will be provided. So you have small, medium, large, or X large. You need to contact us if you want to unlock bigger uh, VM. The pricing here is the LSTO pricing, but you will have a separate billing on your AWS account for your EC2 conception. Okay, so let's hit next. Here we can select the level of support we want. Let's keep the default one. And we can also add some advanced configuration like when do we want the updates to be performed and if we want them to be performed. Same for the system updates. And we can add SSH keys. Let's keep the defaults and hit create service. Now we should receive an email when our instance is deployed. Okay, so we received the email that our instance is ready. Click here to get the password, copy it in the clipboard and go to our instance. I know the username is root and paste in the password. And now we are on Superbase. We have our instance working and ready. You can use it as any other open source software. Now let's go back to AWS and go to EC2. Go to instances. And now we can see our instance is created with the correct name. 
If you don't see your instance, be careful that you are on the same region on the top right than the one you chose on LSTO. Perfect. Now another consideration you might have is when you delete your project on LSTO, it correctly delete your instance on AWS. So let's do it. Go and hit delete service. There is a warning to tell you that instance on AWS are not deleted immediately. So you can have a few time before seeing the result appearing. Let's hit delete. Okay, so on LSTO, we can see our service is deleted. If we reload, it's not anymore in the list. If we go to AWS and reload, no matching instance is found. It has been correctly deleted. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate if you have any questions to ask them in the comment section or to join our Discord community. The link is in the description. If you want to learn more about LSTO features or want to discover in depth the open source softwares we provide on the platform, subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye bye.